Ellie Reyes. This right here is a special Hennessy cocktail kit. Now, mm -hmm. you see the vibrant colors. It's actually a collaboration between Felipe Pantone okay. and Hennessy. He went for a more futuristic look, you know, remixing the present. Feel free to unbox this. I don't know what's inside. I am anxiously anticipating that it is going to be very elegant. Here we go. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Let's, let's walk through each item. Skewers, fruits. Okay. Heart tea. Ellie, do you have any experience in making cocktails? I do. Just plain and simple cocktails, nothing crazy. Okay. Um, candied ginger, that's yummy. Wow. Lemon. Wow, this is, uh, this is very <laughs> fancy. Lemon. Mm. Hella bitters ginger. Okay. Grenadine, the yummy stuff. French ginger, the core. Fancy, fancy. And I think very special cognac. Well, there you guys have it. Here's all the ingredients to make Ferg's signature drink, the Dimensional. Now, Ferg and I did try this drink off camera at ComplexCon. Delicious, very solid drink. Obviously, I'm not gonna make it right now because we need to boil the water for the hibiscus tea. Maybe at the end of the day, I'll fix Miss Ellie Reyes up a drink and she can try it for herself. So, like a dummy, I didn't check the packaging box for the instructions and, well, here they are. Here's the inventory checklist. Take a screenshot of that. Boom. And then, here is the instructions on how to make the signature drink the dimensional. I'll get a closer shot for you guys right here. So take a screenshot of that and then enjoy the cocktail. That's all for now. I like how colorful it is. I don't think I've ever seen a Hennessy bottle with so much color on the packaging. Mm -hmm. um, so that's different. All right. Well, there you guys have it. Back to work. <laughs> Dan Life. Well, that's your alias. Uh, yeah. What can you tell me about this piece right here? So this is my Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott sculpture. It takes five months for me to finish the piece. It has over 143,000 Swarovski crystals, chatons that are hand set one by one into resin. You do not want to be known as a bedazzler. No, definitely not. <laughs> okay, what's a proper title to give you? Uh, I'm an artist and crystal is my medium. So I use crystal pretty much in everything. I want to make everything look kind of the way that I envisioned it when I was a kid with diamonds, everything blinged out. I was a huge gem collector. You were actually at Complex Con. What was yeah. the reception like uh, when I guess the general public saw some of your pieces? Yeah, it was crazy. So well, I think one of the biggest reactions that we got was they were like so happy that they got to see it in person after seeing it online before. Because in mm -hmm. person it's totally different. It like opens up your mind, like people were staring at this for like like half an hour almost. It was it was pretty cool. It was it was really why we did ComplexCon was to show to bring these guys and to like show everybody in person because I want the world to see these pieces. I think that my work kind of makes people think and, and conceptualize other ideas and that's kinda like what my my goal is as an artist. Now, has any corporate entities or like celebrities hit you up about inquiring about some of your pieces? Yeah, all the time. Um, I can't name who owns them yeah, on don't camera, name, don't but um, yeah, a lot of companies, CEOs, royal families, um, influencers own these guys. And but, but you're pretty selective about who who gets to Dubai, I guess? Yeah, I don't know if it's necessarily only me. I work with you know, a few art dealers and advisors who kind of pick and choose who are the right um, clients that can actually purchase a piece. But of course, you know, I love to, to have them with, with the right people, so. So who do you think should get that piece? Travis. <laughs> yeah, that's quite obvious. Yeah, or what, what happens if it came down to MJ or Travis? Oof, oof. Well, they can both have one. There's three pieces, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Olga, give me a little context. What's happening? Why is Matt 
behind sitting when you're on the right opposite there. side. Like so we're going to do an off camera interview He's today just hit with, like, with a rapper. Like, Make sure to watch Complex like, okay, News. Yeah, okay, okay. Reveal. Gotcha. All right. We're doing something a little different I mean, where we're not going to shoot again, on all white is contextual. Like or all black. Uh, stuff like we're going to use a little color scheme. So every time someone comes by, we're going to do something a little different. Which means they're just mixing matches with the boring white. There's not a Right, right. So if Matt, Matt were to have a, a like rapper a alias, like what would it be? Dark, like I feel like yeah. Matt, Matt has a rapper yeah. alias. What is it? Rabbit Vision. Rabbit Vision? Rabbit Vision. Okay. We had the opportunity to play at Dykeman yesterday. Yeah. Talk to me about that. Have you ever played on a court before? Have I ever played on a basketball court? On Dykeman's. On Dykeman's court? Yeah. Nah, I never played. I shot see, over there. I shot over there though. Same thing. It was the first time for me too. Yeah, I shot over there a few times, like, cause I, I did like music videos for some of my artists up there and shit. But yeah, I, I never played up there before. Right now, I think for this generation, it's the hot spot. Like before, it was Rucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's also you got Tri State. Like you got Tri State, which is like 145th and Lennox. They had a like they had their time. Rucker had his time, now it's Dykeman's time. And it's been Dykeman's time. They've been on a run for like the past like four or five years now. And How did that even come about? Why did it all of a sudden switch from the Rucker to, to Cause Dykeman? like, I mean, things and momentum changes. So it's like when, like the Rucker, like rest in peace to my man Greg, he was like the dude who ran the Rucker, you know what I mean? Like um, he he had it going. Like that, that year KD went there, you know what I mean, mm. and dropped. I remember Kyrie and Tyreek Evans, they both came to the Rucker around that time, like 2013. I was a brand ambassador for Reebok at the time. Reebok had the tournament, like they were sponsoring it. It had good momentum, but like it just shifts sometimes. I think the thing with Dykeman, it was more of the, the atmosphere, the, the, the neighborhood was growing. Like La Marina started popping. So like the bat, the ball players knew like, all right, after we play ball, we gonna go, go out to eat, go get some drinks, go chill. And it's just an ill ass environment. We're like Rucker, it's like, it's not the same. Both of them is right across the street from the projects, but like Rucker is not as many hot spots around that area. So mm. Dykeman is just like easy to like segue into other things, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Dykeman got it. And then Nike jumped in, you know what I mean? Nike seen the momentum, they jumped in. It was dope. I want to see LaMelo go up there. For real. Ooh. I want to see LaMelo go up there. Ooh. I feel like he could hold his own. I feel like he could hold his own up there. What, what about LiAngelo? I don't know about LiAngelo, man. I don't know. But but see, the thing about them is they all used to playing in like hostile environments. Dykeman? I don't think they've ever played. No, it, it, man, it, well, LaMelo like played it. Drew League, bro. Drew League. First off, Drew League is in the hood. You ever been to a Drew League game? No, I never been to the Drew League game, but one of my homies, like, his man, like, helped start it. But the thing about the Drew League game is, what you don't know is, like, when you go to the Drew League game, you in the hood, not only you in the hood, you in there with gangbangers from every type of part of LA. So it's a hostile environment. Like, it's, it's the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't know how to handle yourself there, then you can't handle yourself anywhere. So I feel like, like, if Dykeman, if you could play ball in Dykeman or Rucker or any places in New York, you could play ball anywhere. Same as, as, as Drew League. Like, if you could go to Drew League and do your thing, you could do your thing in Dykeman, you know what I mean? Because it's the same environment. Fun fact, that's where Rick Ross was sitting for the Complex News video. Two days ago. Yes, but, we're here to talk about another show that is coming up. Today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, which means... Full-size runtime, 6 p.m. Eastern. The penultimate episode of the season. Uh-oh. Well, you, you might as well just drop it in. Look it up, y'all. That means second to last. That's right. E-40. E-40. Mm-hmm. Are you allowed to say that? Even though... For you? This, this episode goes live before. Um... Oh, it's too late. I'm not going to edit out. So, I guess it is E40. World premiere. Okay. That's it. That's the outro.